Hi, in this tutorial I'll show you how to fix no bootable device. Insert boot disk and press any key. Solution number one. Turn on your computer and boot into BIOS menu. Your BIOS menu may not be the same as mine, but the idea is to get into boot options and from there make sure the legacy support is enabled. Or change your BIOS mode from UEFI to Legacy. Make sure to save changes before exiting. Solution number two. Make a recovery drive from another working computer. For more details about it, please check the description below. Plug the recovery drive and power on your computer. Navigate to Boot Options and boot from the USB. It doesn't matter whether you select UEFI or Legacy. Choose your keyboard layout and select Troubleshoot. Command prompt. Type in disk part and hit enter. List disk and hit enter. I have two disks. The first holding the system and the second is the USB storage device. Select disk 0. List volume. The first volume is the boot partition. Assign the letter C. Type list partition. The first volume is the first partition. So select partition 1. Detail partition. Boot partition must be active partition and formatted as NTFS file system. Currently it is not active. To mark it as an active partition, simply type active. Type again detail partition. As you can see now, it is the active partition. That's it. Now you can restart your computer without an issue. Solution number three. If none of the solutions work so far, the last resort is to create the boot files from the beginning. Type disk part and select the disk zero. List volume to see which partition assigned which letter. Type BCD boot space type the letter assigned to your Windows partition colon stash Windows directory space switch S space the letter assigned to the boot partition colon space switch F space BIOS and hit enter. Exit. Turn off your PC. Turn it on. You no longer need the USB storage device, so unplug it. That's all. I hope it was easy to follow and helpful. Thanks for watching.